The Penguin ended. Hello, everyone. The Penguin ended. Shocking. Spoilers. Someone is gone, but they're not gone. There was only one logical choice for the Batman Part 2, and that's High Top Films' pitch of Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze has someone who is incapacitated. The Penguin has someone who is incapacitated. They're both surviving on machines. So what does Mr. Freeze have? He has stem cells. He has research. He has ways of waking up a person who is no law is brain dead in, in, in functions. His, the mom had a stroke. This one has Louis body. She had Louis body, all this stuff. But wouldn't that be great if he could cure her Louis body and wake her up from a stroke and all this stuff? So this is something that we need to see the Penguin, the most powerful person in Gotham City. The Penguin, the most powerful man in Gotham City, being able to work with the blue, as we say here, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze would use him needing Bruce Wayne's powerful signature so the Penguin would meet Bruce Wayne. They would need to take Bruce Wayne. Riddler would want Bruce Wayne. A lot of people would want Bruce Wayne a lot more than they want Batman. And Batman is this vigilante who's getting involved. So, yes, by standards, Mr. Freeze will be the logical best villain for after the Penguin. He will wake up Oswald's mother. Mr. Freeze will not have his wife wake up. Uh, as for the casting in Mr. Freeze, there are four actors that would be perfect. Number one, Ryan Gosling. Number two, Wyatt Russell. Number three, Patty Considine. And number four, J.K. Simmons. One of those four would be perfect to play Mr. Freeze. Uh, Harvey Dent, you could get maybe Wyatt Russell or uh, John David Washington. So they'd be perfect for Harvey Dent. And what we would need is that, yes, Vic is not dead. The Batman was watching this whole time all the events unfurl, unfold, or little by little he was watching. He knows a little bit about Vic. And when Vic is uh, strangled and left for dead, Batman comes, gets him, puts him in the Batmobile. We see flashbacks of how Vic knows about Batman. Then uh, he goes to confront uh, Penguin and say, I have a witness who knows of all the murder and crimes you've done. Penguin is now put forced to work with Two-Face, a Two-Face DA who betrays Batman, and they're transferring Vic. This is all cool stuff. I'm going to read it uh, in my draft. So basically, as I said, Freeze comes to Gotham for funding of his stem cell to save his wife. He needs Bruce Wayne's signature. He helps Penguin when all his mother is in a state. After her stroke, she wakes up due to his stem cell research. Now he will help capture Bruce Wayne, who Riddler and Joker want as well, Batman Part 2. Mr. Freeze is the main villain of Part 2. Yes, the one who wakes up the mother of the Penguin. This seems like it will work. Uh, as for Vic being dead, my story is he awakens when Batman watches and saves him and finds his body and tells him to go to the circus to hide from Penguin. He's now Robin. They redo the origin a little. Uh, let's read what I got so far. Let us read what I got so far for Batman and Robin. Vic is down. Alfred, Vic is dead. No, Bruce. Save him. Bruce is dressed as Batman. His Batmobile rumbles to the Batcave. Vic inside. There is oxygen on him. Alfred and him wait. There's a pulse. Now what? Vic doesn't wake up. Vic has a flashback of him with the Batman. Flashback. Ha ha ha. This is amazing. Vic's dad laughs in the videos. The Joker made this trend happen. It's crazy. He goes around and people get in Joker makeup and they punch random people and put it on the internet. The Joker comes out. If anyone can punch the Batman on camera, I'll give him two million dollars. But you gotta really get a good punch and film it. If you knock him out, well, we will see Joker's. Vic and his friends at school discuss it. Vic, you need to ignore that Joker punch. Someone crap. Batman is crazy. He's gonna kill you and your friends. Vic and his friends decide to go around Gotham. They decide to rob expensive cars. Let's see if Batman shows up. He doesn't. And they make money taking the car apart. Man, we can make more money... Taking apart these cars. Let's do that. A few more tries and finally Batman is there. They all try and punch him with the film footage. The Batman simply waits as he sizes up Vic. Vic wakes up. Batman goes to grab him. No! Oz, no! What are you doing? Interior Batcave now. Victor Aguilar. Oz killed you. 
I brought you back. You did what? You're the Batman. Oz has seized control of Gotham. Anywhere you go now, you are dead. I have Harvey Dent. He's a good DA. You can, with him, you can roll over on Oz. Never. This has got to be Oz. He didn't want me dead. He wanted you. Somehow Oz is smart and I'm bait. Just stupid bait. Maybe there's a tracker on me. I don't know. Tracker? Big starts to cry. How could Oz do that to me? How could he kill me? Batman gives him a tracker. You just made yourself useful to Harvey and me. And you could get him and bring down Oz. If we work together, you can be bait and lead him to me. But we will be ready to record him and confess with what you've done. There's so much I did. Start at the beginning. We have to be ready. I was stealing rims. Then he killed Alberto Falcone and made me dispose of the body. Vic has a montage of what happened in Penguin. So all of the HBO show Penguin is shown a little bit. He records himself on camera. Suddenly Penguin is watching all this on the news. The camp footage. They all look at him. It's a goddamn lie. You're going to take his word over it to me. You can take his word over mine, over the mine. Batman shows up to City Hall. He is right in Penguin's face. Cops around him. We have a witness and he's with Harvey. You're going to jail. You got nothing. This is my city. Get this freak out of here. Batman moves fast. Penguin moves faster and faster. He gets out of there. He has to go fast now. Vic has set him up. Everyone go, go, go. Let's go. Penguin is on the move to kill Vic and Harvey. They move in a transfer. Penguin is ready, but Vic is beaten by him. He is Robin. He is wearing a body armor. And, uh, and something around his eyes. He is the Robin we all know. Batman and Robin. Police look at Vic as Robin and Batman. The action ensues. Vic fights Oz, almost trying to kill him. Everything goes as it should. Batman asks him, How did they know you were there, Robin? Someone told him. They face what we see as Two-Face. They, the face we see is Two-Face, Harvey Dent. He set them up. Go, move now, jump. Batman and Robin leap. Penguin talks to Harvey on the phone. He was Two-Face in his way of lying. So there you go. That ultimately was something I wrote. We would have Vic, you know, in the beginning of Batman 1, we see the binoculars and someone is being spied on to be killed. In part two, it's Batman spying on Penguin with Vic to save him and bring him in. And he had someone come in, and that's Robin. And he brought him in to be Robin, which is really cool. So that was it. Uh, Penguin, let's bring in Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze will have the research and the implementation he needs to save uh, Penguin's mom and bring her back for a season two. Sophia Falcone will also be involved later as a, maybe as a cameo. She, we don't really need her too much, but she's awesome. We'll bring her back maybe for Penguin Season 2. Robin, we get a Robin with Vic, even though it's not Dick. Maybe Dick Grayson, Dick. I didn't want to call myself Dick Aguilar, Victor Aguilar. Vic and Dick. So there we go. Maybe he goes to the, the circus to hide, meets Dick Grayson. Two-Face comes in. So it's cool stuff. And Mr. Freeze with what is a high top film's Look him up on YouTube. He has a pitch. His pitch is perfect for what we need. Batman just redone it. Do it a little perfect. That's all. See you guys on Tyler Mori, Renault Martinez, Batman.